so I just put Sasha and Zoe in the spare cage together they do know each other but I don't know if they remember each other because they haven't seen each other for about 18 months but there's been lots of sniffing going on I wouldn't leave them alone I've got a tea towel handy just in case I need to pull anyone out quickly but they seem to be okay at the moment um, I think I might be able to just put <laughs> hello darlings hello hello little girls I may be able to put one of the other sisters in because at the moment I think they're very receptive because they've lost two sisters already and obviously um, well they've both lost two sisters Sasha's lost Beth and Maggie and um, I say li little Zoe she's lost Pam and Erin so there's been lots of little sniffing I don't want them to jump out so I'm leaving the top down it's not clipped in so I can easily get my hands in quickly if there's necessary but I think so far they're, they're quite um, quite happy um, <laughs> hello I know you would like to come out but you always want to come out just make sure that there's no bullying I'm going to give them a few more minutes and I'm going to introduce um, Kelly and Carol one at a time because I don't want to overwhelm Sasha she is a little darling and she's a little tiny girl but you no know, so far usually my female rat introductions they go really well um, yes I know you're being very good <coughs> very good a very good girl and I mean all of my girls are very gentle girls. They're very non-aggressive, and um, yeah, they they seem quite nice at the moment. Not really cuddling up together, but I'm going to give them a little while longer, see how it goes, and then I will come back and um, do some more filming in a minute. Let me just see. So it's quite nice that they go up to each other. And hello. Hello. Oh no, you're more interested in the camera. I want you to talk to each other and be little friends. I'm not keen on male rat introductions. I always try and avoid them. Thankfully, I've not had to do any. When we had the two groups of brothers, I decided I didn't want to group with lots and lots of rats in. I'd rather find it more manageable to have less groups. And also, overcrowded cages, um, your rats are more prone to illnesses. My boys have illnesses because of genetics, not because of overcrowding or any other reason. But my little girls, yes, you're such a dinky do. You look like a little baby and you're nearly two and a half. So I can't have little Sash on her own. She's one of my little darlings, my remaining walking dead girl. So not doing much at the moment, so I'm going to stop filming and... Um, We'll do some more filming hello yes there's no aggression lots of little looking and sniffing but they don't seem at all worried by each other and once I've got the other girls in and I'm sure everything's okay I will put a bowl of nuggets in but no other toys or anything at the moment and I'm planning to do these introductions over a week if all goes well they will stay in this cage um, more and more longer and longer every day until I can keep them in all the time I, the first few days are critical and I will be sleeping downstairs by the cages just to make sure there's no trouble at night because things can flare up at night time or after a day or two and then after a week or so of in this cage uh, they will all move back into the Savic Royal Suite. So I will let you know how we go with that.